<laughs> oh, hello everybody, welcome to my playthrough of Mario Superstar Baseball. I am a baseball player myself. What better way to kick off spring than playing some baseball? We can go into exhibition game, which is pick your favorite characters, select a park, and just play for fun. Or we can go to Toy Field, which is a pretty cool little concept of a game. Play with pals or computer players as you pitch, bat, and nab corn. So you would basically rotate with the players, pitching, batting, and fielding. So there you go. And I guess whoever has the most coins or whatever at the end wins. We will definitely be doing that at some point. But the main thing of this playthrough is going to be challenge mode. Play against rivals as you compete for the pennant. Yes. New game. I guess file number two. Why not? From the start. Mushroom level. We will be playing all the levels. Gather powers and form a team to challenge the Balgo team. Yes, let's do it. I could start with Mario, but I don't know if I want to do that. It is Mario Baseball after all, but I think we could start with someone else. But in this case with Mario, he has a fireball logo right there, as his star pitch is the fireball. He's also got pretty decent stats across the board, a pretty overall balanced player, good at batting, pitching, fielding, a little bit slow on the bases, but decent as well for running. Over here we got Peach with the heart ball, so that's her star pitch, and her stats are quite a bit different than that of Mario's. Mario is more balanced, but Peach, while not a strong player, she's actually a more technical player. She is not that great of a batter, but her pitching and fielding, top notch, and her running is basically the same as Mario, so yeah, the princess can actually keep up in the running game with Mario. Damn, Mario, you could be beaten by a girl in running. My god, how embarrassing, man. My god. Okay, here we have Wario with the phony ball, I guess it's called. It's a bit of a screwball type of thing. It's a little weird, but we'll see it in action plenty soon. Over here though, he's the power character, well technically DK is the power character, but in raw power as a human, Wario is a power guy. Batting is through the roof, he, he's a power hitter for sure. But he's got pretty low stats in pitching, fielding, and running. So yeah, overall if you want a designated hitter on your team, Wario is the guy. Cause he's not that great otherwise. He could be your catcher behind the plate, but eh, I don't know. But yeah, over here we got Yoshi, the running man or dinosaur of the group. He's got pretty decent batting and fielding stats. Pitching's a little low, but not too bad. But running, wow, he is the, probably the fastest runner in the game, bar none. I don't know who would catch up to Yoshi in terms of running, but yeah, and he's got the egg ball, so it's a bit of a knuckler, knuckleball type of pitch, which is pretty cool. And over here we got Mr. Banana Ball himself, DK, who's basically a power hitter as well, like Wario. But apparently this guy is great at pitching. I don't know why, but maybe his strength has to do with it? I don't know. But the banana ball is like a wide slider. It's a slider ball, so there we go. We got a lot. Watch, watch, watch out for that. That's what I was trying to say. Right, my mouth can't work today. Wow. Fielding and running is on the down low, but pretty good stats otherwise. And yes, if we look at their teams, we can see the team logo, the team mark as it's called. Pretty decent looking across the board, but. Basically, these are the beginner type logos, basically what your starting team 
is looking like and as you play through challenge mode you get to build up your own team of nine and basically the logo changes based on who you got on the team so that's pretty cool and as for who I want to start with I'm sorry for talking a bit here but I wanted to say these things out in the open first this is a little information heavy video but I promise you we will get into more of the action in the next video we're gonna do some action in this video don't you worry uh, I think I'm gonna start off with you know what let's go power let's go with Wario Wario yeah Baseball is all the rage lately with Mario and his pals. Every day the gang gets together and has great fun. But one day, they didn't invite me? Oh my god. I gotta fucking, I gotta beat them up. <laughs> oh, a letter. Bowser sends a letter of challenge. Ooh. Time to play me, but why bother? I'll obviously win. Talk about insulting! <laughs> Who cares? Who knows what will happen? Okay, here we go. We are starting challenge mode. Here we go. Greetings, Wario! Well, you look as surly as ever. Don't hurt me. Is your team ready? Wow, what a team! How did you get so many good players together? Oh my god! Did you rig the draft? Did you rig the ballot so you get all the good drafts? Oh my god. Well, knowing you, Wario, I highly doubt you use legitimate means. Yeah, he rigged it, alright. You... You WHAT?! Oh my, I shouldn't have asked. Here's the deal, though. Bowser, yes, that guy, wants to test his might against a strong team. Let me just fill you in on some details, Wario, cause I know uh, you might be a strength guy. You might be strong, but not so much up in the head. <laughs> Your rivals are forming teams too. Beating all the other teams should earn you a date with Bowser's team. Even rival team members might help you out if you can impress them. The thing is, of course, you can only play up to with nine players. So be sure to challenge Bowser with your best team of nine. I want you to play the game right, okay? Don't just rely on sheer power now. Well, it's all about the power, man. You got, you know, he doesn't have any other go-tos. It's power and treasure, that's all he got. Do you follow me? No? Okay then, good luck. Alrighty, here we go. We can call Lacker 2 with R if you want to, but I'm not going to do that because <gasps> that's a time waster. And that, right through here, we got a Magic Cooper right here. We got a Sad Guy over there. Basically, we got some mini games that we can do if we want to because down in the bottom right, we have coins. And we do need coins if we want to buy some stuff at the item shop, which is over here. And there's also Baby Bowser, but we'll talk to him in a bit. But yeah, here is the item shop, so what we have here, welcome to the shop, buy an item. Basically, we have different items that can help us in the game. And there's some other stuff that we can get, like these two. Gnarly Garlic and Whiskered Eggplant. You might think, why are there food items in this game? Well. Not exactly. These things, specific to Warrior and Waluigi, these are what will activate star pitching. So basically, you can throw a star type pitch, which is like a special move when you're pitching or something like that. And if you have these, then the full effects of the star pitch will, will come into play. But they cost 200 each. And that's for all the players that can actually use the star pitch. And down here, there's 500 and 600 for coins. I don't know, I don't remember what these are, but I'm sure we'll get them later. But yeah. So that's the items up. We can play the minigames around here to get coins to buy them. I, I think I'm gonna start off with a game though. 
Yeah, let's start off with Baby Bowser. Hey, Beetle Browse! Stop picking your nose and play a game with me! No, I will not stop picking my nose. <laughs> That's Wario for you. <laughs> Alright, the Wario Greats versus the Junior Fans. Basically what this is, it's just basically little one inning games with Baby Bowser. Or is it Bowser Jr.? I'm not sure. But in this case, we have two runs already on the board. They have nothing. And we're in the... Did you really just shake your ass? Wario. This is an E-rated game. Chill out, man. <laughs> we're in the bottom ninth and we have to keep the score. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Woo! Alright, so the, there are a few different types of pitches. There's the fastball, in which you can hold A to charge up, and then you can release A just before he throws it to get a nice. It's timing based, but there we go. But if you hit down on the control stick and then hit A, he charges up, but then he throws a change up. And a changeup is another type of, it's a secondary pitch, but there you go. And basically, you can also use a fastball and a changeup to mix up the speeds. But you can just tap A and you'll get this. You can get curved, curved balls, sliders, or two seam fastballs. Basically, well, that wasn't really a two-seam fastball, but two-seam fastball is when you throw the ball and then it has a lot of movement going to the right or left, depending on which way you're throwing. So, there's a lot of different pitches out there. Unfortunately, we can't use a knuckleball, but here we go. We have Bowser Jr. I think I'm going to call him Bowser Jr. I think this is the Bowser Jr. So, Baby Bowser is him in Mario Party. This is Bowser Jr. here, okay. Okay, so, let me, let me find what I'm trying to talk about. The star pitch, what you do to activate that is you can tap or hold R and then press A. And what that does, in this case, is just a super fastball. It's just basically a faster fastball, basically, I don't know. But that's basically it, until we buy the item from the item shop, which will have the full star pitch effect. That's basically the only type of star pitch we have now, so. Hey, here we go. Yeah, that's, the game. that's the game! Stop slapping your ass! Wario, what is with you and your ass? Wow! You can ask, man, alright. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's it for that. Darn it all! I'll win next time! No, you're not. You're never gonna win, man. Oh, yeah, here we go. We have the star mission page. In which case, we have the different characters here. We got Wario and Waluigi, of course. We also have Magic Koopa. And then we also have Boo, King Boo, and Petey Piranha. So if we go and look at them, we have... Wow, the game is mean, aren't they? Fat show. Apparently, Wario is a fat show. Technically, he is, but still. But yeah, that's the that's his title. As he hasn't cleared any of these things yet. These are missions, and if you clear every single mission of the character, they will become a star character, and their stats will improve. Their batting, pitching, building, and running will improve once they become a star character. I don't know if I'm going to try and get everyone to become a star character because not only are there some can't clear stuff, basically you have to unlock every uh, level, challenge mode level, and complete all the ones that will unlock at the other levels. And once they are complete, then, then they will become a star character but that will take a while for everybody to become a star character and that will take a long time so 
I don't know if I will do it, but I'll try and complete as many as I can. Like for instance, Wario smack more than two hits in a game. If you get two hits or more, then that one will be crossed off. This one is become a captain and win more than 900 coins. So basically, you pick him to start a season in challenge mode. And if you get more 900 coins or more in the in the field, then you will get that one. And here you also have get a gnarly garlic, which is the star pitch type that Wario has. So we gotta get that from the item shop. Bowser Jr. gave us 100 coins, but sadly we need 100 more coins in order to do that. So how about we go over here and talk to this toad? Looks like they're playing wall ball. Pitching is crucial in that game, you know. Hope you're accurate. You can play this minigame three more times. Every minigame you can play here on the map, you can only do three times. So you gotta be careful. I don't know if that's the total throughout challenge mode in the season, but we'll see. And you can pick whatever character you want from your team to do the pitching. I like to use Waluigi for pitching because he's got pretty good uh, stats. Also, you can change how they throw and bat. So, you, so Waluigi is normally a lefty thrower and a lefty batter, but you can change it so he can throw on the right side, hit on the right side, or hit right, throw left, throw right, hit left. So yeah, you can do that with any character in the game, which is also pretty cool. And with Magic Koopa, you can also change the color, depending on what you want. So there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna use Waluigi. There's also three levels of the minigame difficulty, easy, normal, and hard. Obviously, the harder it is, the more coins you get if you win. But you would also lose a lot if you go on the harder difficulty, so. But since this is the beginning of the game, let's go hard. What? I didn't say that. What are you talking about? Okay, so here's Smash Warball. What? <laughs> Smash Bros. Warball. Yeah, that sounds right. Smash the note wall, but no further. So we can do the rules right here. Smash walls with the charge pitch to win coins. You get three turns. On each turn, you throw a pitch. You can clear the game if you have the most coins at the end. Or tie with someone. You can tie with someone and still win. So thankfully there's that. Uh, what? You get tons of coins if you smash through the note wall. If the Bowser wall is the last thing you break, you'll lose half of your coins to the other players. So once you hit the Bowser wall, you're done. They will win, you will lose. The length of time you charge is the key to smashing the note wall just right. So if you played this game a lot and you know the timing for the pitching, it's easy. But if you're just starting out, yeah, that might be a little bit of a tricky thing. And also where the note wall is, as seen in this picture, you also gotta hold the charge up to a certain point if, to, if you want to throw a certain distance to the note wall. Because like the, the Bowser wall at the end there, if you do a full charge pitch, you're gonna break that wall. And you don't wanna do that. So yeah, you gotta be careful. All right, let's go. Whew. Doing a lot of talking in this video. Sorry about that. But in the next video, it will be a lot more action based and not a lot of talking. So there we go. Okay. Now here we got a note wall and a Bowser wall right behind us. So I kind of want to do a little bit of charging here. Not too little because we do want a little bit of force to break the note wall. The brick walls are easy to break, but the note wall is a little bit stronger, so we gotta use a little more force to break that, but we don't want to hit the Bowser wall. B or break it, rather. So that should be... I just screwed myself up. Good job, Waluigi. And here's where you need a full pitch to get that, yep. Why did I screw that up? God dang it. Oh my good lord. 
We got three Bowser Walls, so that's gonna take a bit of force. <sighs> okay. There we go, we got that. <sighs> okay, full force on that one. Lose! Okay. I don't like how you did that. Hit the Bowser Wall, hit the Bowser Wall, hit the Bowser Wall. Yeah! That gives me a few more coins, but I don't like how Yellow Toad is still ahead of me. I don't like that. Oh my god, he just needs a full p Don't charge all the way- No! <laughs> Idiot! Yellow Toad wins. Yellow Toad wins. I hate that guy. You don't get anything if you're not first or tied for first. That is a loss. I can't believe I lost because I didn't charge up enough on the first pitch. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> and because I lost on hard difficulty, I lost 150, so I'm back down to zero coins. You don't go in the negative though, so you don't have to worry about that, but still, come on. Oh, I do want to get the, um, I do want to get the gnarly garlic, so I'm actually going to go over here. Uh-huh, okay. The bob bomb derby is about to start. Pyrotechnic time. You can play this minigame three more times. I will do so once. Yeah, so this is home run derby. One of my favorite things in baseball. Okay, who would be a good battle? Not really Waluigi, he's one of the weaker ones. You could play as King Boo, he is a good hitter. But King Boo and Boo... I don't know about that. They might have good hitting, but they have a lot of curve on the ball when they hit. So if they hit it, like, if they hit it straight out into center field, that ball is gonna curve into right field. That's how much it changes, or curves, off the bat, so I'm not gonna pick them. I will pick this guy, a good power hitter and PD Piranha. And I will go hard difficulty. Why? Because, well, I need a lot of coins, so, yeah. You can, go, you can get by with normal. With normal, you can the target score also increases based on the um, difficulty, so easy would be a thousand, normal would be fifteen hundred, and then two thousand for hard. Due to rules, you have ten chances to hit home runs. When you belt one out, fireworks go off and you score. Beat the target score to win. And you have the speed of the bar bomb fired from the machine depends on where the slot stops. So, mushroom, <coughs> mushroom is slow, bob -omb. Flower is regular speed, bob -omb. Star is fast. Fire is fire, bob -omb. So, faster than star. Big bob -omb is a little random speed. Or a normal speed. It's a little more flower speed. Regular. But, if you hit it and it goes out for a home run, you get a lot of points. And, the question mark is a random pitch. And you gotta be ready for that. So, there you go. Alright, hopefully I can do this on the first try. If not, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna run off Peter Piranha. Oh, ah! Oh. Seriously? That was a little too early. Okay, slow pitch. Oh my god, I did it again. Okay. Hey! First home run of the game! 353 points. Alright. Two straight power balls right off the bat. That is ridiculous. Home run right there. Good job. And the... The, the more bomb... Bo the more bombs you get out in a row... You get combo points if you get more than one out at the same time. Oh my god. I am losing this badly. 
I can't believe I'm losing this badly. I can't believe it. Random. Dang it! Oh, come on! I, I lost. Oh, big ba bomb, last ball. Plus 200 points for that. Oh my god. It didn't help with two straight foul balls to start it off. Whoa. That did not help. C come on. That is so unfair. You know what? Screw that. We'll, let's go play a game. Let's play a game. Screw that. Mario Champ, let's see who the... I, have, I did not read that. Sorry about that. Now, it's on! Okay, let's just play a game. I, I'll get the gnarly garlic next time. Oh my good lord. Alright. So here's the team. You can actually change the positions of the players. So you, you don't have to stick with this one. And I do not want to stick with this one. So, Waluigi. Okay, first you gotta hit R in order to swap positions. Uh, Waluigi's gonna be the pitcher. His pitching stat is almost full. So he's a good pitcher for sure. King Boo. I think I would have him at third. Regular Boo is also a good pitcher himself. And... I guess I could have him be at post. Petey Piranha, I would usually have Petey Piranha play shortstop, but oh well. And yeah, I guess this is it right there. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Round up players, what is a scout flag? In challenge mode games, you attempt to perform scout missions Successfully, if you clear missions with the, for the full number of flags and win the game, players will join you. So, we got three flags with Mario, two with Luigi, Pinata, and a Noki. I think that's the name of that individual down there at the bottom. And Monty Moore with one. And we can change the batting order if we want to. So, let's do that. Waluigi, I think I'll have lead off. Wario, I think will be third. Petey Piranha, I usually have as the cleanup hitter. King Boo, I'll have as the seventh guy. Um, I think Boo, I could have as the fifth. And yeah, I think that's it. Not really much to go off of. But yeah, here we go. And we got the first bat, so we'll always be away team. Star skills on three innings default for the challenge mode. I think in the higher difficulty, you can go to five innings. I'm not sure. And mostly is on. So if you have 10 runs or more than the other uh, team, and it's not the third inning, you will get a mercy rule, so you would automatically win. So, there we go. Okay, so we got different uh, difficulties here. We have, we can turn stuff off. There's normal running, auto, stuff like that. I just leave them at default. Yeah, let's just start the game. I am sorry for the amount of talking and everything. Yeah. But, yeah, we are getting to play a game right now, so, here we go. Ah, oh, 33 minutes in. And here's our first mission, get a hit! Okay. <laughs> hit the ball, bitch! What? Don't you dare cut that! Oh, thank God. Thank God you're slow. <laughs> Hey, what a... Dang it. What? He was safe. We... <laughs> okay. Hey, Wario, Wario. That was not a strike. How dare you? Perfect 
Ho ho! Ho ho! How do you like that? Ha <laughs> ha! Pulpit! That means home run! Oh, ooh, Pity Piranha! Oh, line drive in the left field, it's a fair ball! Go to second base, go to second base, and. Da, 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 da. Okay, who? Safe! Yeah, I'm safe, what do you think about that? You know what? Take that. <laughs> nice hit by Boo. As you saw there, there's a bit of curb when he hit the ball. Boo and King Boo has a lot of curb on the hitting, so, yep. Gotta watch out for that. You know what? Still sucking. How about no? You can repeatedly press the B button to make them run faster, but not by much. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are we gonna send the runners back to the basic? But no, we we're already two out. Didn't matter. Alright, here we go. Waluigi up on the mound. And let's see. Let's start off with a fastball down the middle. Steve, at one. Oh, <laughs> nice first strikeout of the game and the first battle too. Whoa, take that! Steve like one. Woohoo! Number two. How about this? Haha! <laughs> hey Mario! Second mission is. Strike them out for Luigi and Pianto. Ha! Do you like that? Woohoo! Yay! What? Screw you! Oh, you know what? Try and hit this. Ha ha! Sucker! Strike Mario out. Good job. You don't strike Mario out that often, so yeah, that's a pretty good sign there. That was a ball. King Boo, why did you swing up that? Uh oh. Ho! Oh. Cool. I got a hit. Oh, go, 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 all right, what are you gonna do when we come for you? What? I did not do that. You know what? How about we do a star? Nope. Apparently that's not gonna work. Oh! Cool. We made it. Mad Red Magic Cooper gets an RBI single. Woo! That sound right there, that purple thing with the Noki there. Time. Let me try to explain that purple thing there. That purple thing is chemistry. And basically when two players have chemistry, they can throw the ball a lot quicker to each, to each other. So you wanna look out for that. Okay, get a hit. Oh my god, you suck. How dare you. Oh! Oh, come on! I did get a hit. What? Waluigi got on base, he got a hit! That shit is- I'm, I'm calling BS on that one. I'm calling BS on that one. <gasps> Oh, cool. Apparently, in Major League Baseball, even if you ground into a double pl uh, mm -hmm. potential double play, but the batter actually reaches first base safely. It, oh yeah, that, technically that's fielder's choice. So yeah, that's not really a hit. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Waluigi got a field of choice. 
You know what? Oh. Uh, let's hit another home run. That's not a home run. But thankfully, the mission still. Uh oh. Oh, could have had that. Oh, take that. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, wow. Mario's three flags are filled. That's kind of weird, but alright. There is an extra flag for Noki, though. And I guess we'll talk about that in a bit. Oh! Oh, so much color the ghost foul. I hate you. I know the feeling though. I know the. How dare you! Boom! I know the feeling though of the ball curving off the bat. Cause. When I was playing baseball years ago. Well, I still play baseball, but I was playing. Whoa! Dang it! Where are you? I didn't tell you to throw the first, but all right. Woohoo! When I was playing baseball years ago, I think it, I think this was back in 2009. Um, I I thought I was gonna hit a home run, but it did curve just foul over the wall, so that is unfortunate. Oh, come on. Luigi, ground into a double play, please. You stupid idiot! Magical, but throw the ball! Oh, he will go! Oh my god. Magic Cooper had to do a stupid. Come to me, boy. Come to me. Come to me. There you go. He took so long that allowed a slow piece of crap runner to score from first base. My God. <laughs> and I lost a mission because of that. So that is stupid. You know what? You can actually do a pick off. And if you want to do a pickoff, you just go to the side of the base, and then you just move the control stick in the direction of the base and hit the B button. That's how you can do a pickoff. Okay. Whoop. You know what, strike three, bitch. There you go. Also, I apologize for saying the B word if you don't like it. Um, I don't think there's many kids watching my videos, so... I don't really have to censor it. So yeah. Okay, here we go. Woo! Take that. You know what? How about a star pitch? Oh! What? He... Apparently when Waluigi throws a star pitch, it's a fucking sinker. My god! Hey! Fair ball. All right, let's get a mission so we can get the Noki as well. Let's get everybody off the team. Oh, that was a ball. King Boo, you gotta stop swinging at that. Good Lord. King Boo, you suck. You're off my team. <laughs> hey, you know what? Ooh. Oh, cut. That hit the line, that was fair. That's a load of bull crap right there, thing. If you wanna if you wanna stop the runner, if because the runner is not set on auto and it's on normal, you want to hit the X button to stop the runner and hit the X button again to make them go back. Otherwise, you, they're just gonna keep running and you'll get out. So, finish them off in three battles. I will definitely do that. 
Oh, 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 okay. Good job, Magic Koopa. Great catch. Even though that was a magical touch, it doesn't count as a good touch. Okay. Ha ha, paid that. All right, you know what? Time jump. Good change up. Wow. Okay. Um, another Noki. Wow. There's a lot of Nokis in this lineup. Didn't, didn't you know? Okay, you know what? Huh. That's the game. Everybody's flag is clued. Everybody join my team. All right. Four to one is the final. Warrior Greats is clearly the great. Cool. Oh, yeah. And at the end of the game, depending on who played the best, is the MVP. In this case, with great pitching, Waluigi, number one. Okay, scorebook. We got the battle stats and the pitcher stats for Warrior Greats. So the team total batted an average of 556. That's apparently the current update number on, on the Wii U, because it's 5.5.6 is the current update on the Wii U. Huh, that's weird. Okay, so Wario got two hits, an RBI, one home run. His first at bat was a home run, and he got two hits. So he should have that star missing cleared for smack two hits or more in the game. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And PD Piranha also got two hits and an RBI. Sadly, no homo, but oh well. Waluigi got two hits. He struck out seven, allowed one run, and used two specials. His ERA earned run average is three. Really? How about that? Okay. And for the Mario Sunshines, they batted a 182. Boo! <laughs> and Mario got 10 hits. He struck out one, unfortunately, with that King Boo. And he allowed four runs. And he got a 12 ERA. Oh boy. But yeah, there we go. Back to the map. Here we go. 47 minutes. Yeah, and there's the white surrender flag. When that happens, that means you cleared every missing flag. And when you do that, the, well, basically that comes up when you clear all these team captain flags. So in this case, Mario, since he's the team captain, if you cleared all his flags, which I did in that game, then he will surrender and he will join your team. But the other players, however, I did get all of them because I cleared all their flags, but if I didn't, let's say for the Pinata, I didn't clear all his flags. If he still had a flag left over that I have to clear, then he will actually not join my team, but he will join Bowser Jr.'s team. Yes. Bowser Jr. is on the map for a reason. So, yeah, I'll explain about that when it happens. But yeah, now Mario, time for you to go to work for the real hero. <laughs> Could I get any more manly? No, a new legend is born. <laughs> oh yeah, I win. I win. And yeah, here we go, we got all the characters and apparently we got a lot of stimulus in clear dang. I didn't think we'd do a lot of that, but all right. Here's Mario, Luigi, Monty Moore, Noki. Yep, Noki. All right, color for one, apparently. Waluigi is a thin dude. Yep, he is. And Wario is still a fat show because, well, pfft, yeah. Mario is bit, apparently mini Mario. <laughs> Luigi is a bit player. Wow, he's... He's either an 8-bit player, or he's a Bitcoin player. <laughs> Alright, Monty Mole, you are a scoop. Wow, he is a scoop of news right there. Magic Cooper is the apprentice, alright, that's appropriate. Bless. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Boo is like a blaster? Really? <laughs> wow, that's fucking weird. Okay. He cleared the smack a hit. He did get a hit, so he cleared that. And if you get this, get three strikeouts in a game, yep. In the next game, I'll have Boo pitch and try to get three strikeouts to get that. And King Boo, smack a hit, all right. He did get a hit, so that's something. Yeah. Big Ghost. So, there we go. Get a Team Star. I will explain about those later. But basically... In order to use a Star Pitch, or you can also Star Hit as well, you can also use a Star type of hitting by pressing or holding R then hitting A. And you can do a couple things to get a team star, and I'll explain about those later. Petey Piranha is a croaker. Interesting. Crack a long hit. He did get a long hit in down the left field line. That was a pretty good hit. Yeah. Place first in Piranha Panic. I'll explain about that later. And here is an easy going, not really, Piñata. Crack a long hit and drive in a run. So there we go. You can clear both of them right here if you hit a home run with the Pianto. Cause that is a long hit. And when you get a home run, you're technically driving yourself in for a run. So yeah, there you go. That that's an easy one to get right there. So yeah, that's all of them right there. So yeah, there we go. Oh my god. So yeah, that's it for Mario Stadium. We don't play there anymore in this level anyway with Bowser Jr. if if you don't clear every missing flag from one of them he will join his team and then you will play a missing in there in that game with Bowser Jr. in order to get said players and we don't have any coins I'll try and get some coins in the next video and well, well we won't do these two mini games here wall ball and home run derby bob bomb derby I'll show some of the other mini games that we can play in order to get them. And then hopefully we'll get the gnarly garlic and the whiskered eggplant for Waluigi in the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you if you did leave a like on the video. I apologize for this being a long video. I hope you guys enjoy this long video. That I promise you this is not going to be as long for the upcoming videos. I will be getting straight into well, at the start of the next video, I'll probably play a mini game or two. Get the eggplant, uh, garlic, garlic, and the whiskered eggplant, and then go into a game at, right there. So, we'll get straight into the action in the next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And, if you guys want to join the channel membership, you can. You get members only videos like four walkthroughs, Outlaw Golf 2, that is members only, and you'll get a lot of early access videos as well. So, there you go. Little.